Hello everyone, I'm Yash Patel and welcome back to my channel Jango World. So in today's video, we are going to see that how we can edit the user profile. Like if user want to change his username, then he can change it. If we want to add his first name, last name or email ID, then he can add it, right? So we are going to do that. So let's go to VS Code. And here Django provides us a predefined form, which is, which comes along with Django, which is known as user change form. You can import that from Django contrib auth forms you can import this okay now we are going to go very down below password change form and we will create the class for edit user profile form so class edit user prof profile form and we will inherit user change form so user change form here i am going to create class meta and we will say model equals to user and and we will take fields so fields will be list and here i will pass username then first name then last name then we will pass email all right now i will just start designing the form directly as i have taught you many times that how we can design the form so i will first take username equals to width sorry not equals to width equals to form so forms dot email field and here i will pass widget and i will give as forms dot email input and here i'll pass attribute so a double t r s and this attribute take dictionary so i will say class then i will give class name as form, uh, form control as this is a class from bootstrap okay and i will give placeholder which will be enter your username okay then i will go for first name I will just copy this whole thing and paste that here I will give as character field and I will change input uh, email field to text field sorry text input so text input okay and I will change this placeholder to enter your first name okay then i will do same thing for last name i'll just change this first to last and i will say enter your last name rest all are going to be same then okay i have done mistake over here uh, it was supposed to be email field so i will just rename it email field and we are going to do same thing same as first name for username so second field will be uh, first name last name and last is username so just i will do here username username and uh, username can be maximum of, of uh, 150 characters so max underscore length is equals to 150 okay it sounds good now we will just copy this form class uh, th we will just copy this class name go to views.py and by the way we have created form in authors and forms.py where we are handling our users okay so in views.py we will first import the form so here i have imported this form this is the and here i will create one 
views now here i will create class so now i forgot to introduce class so we are introducing right now only so class based view are very powerful it's more powerful than this uh, function based view okay as i have created class based view in uh, while we are creating passwords in previous video only okay so i am just doing that so class and i will give my class name as update user view and here i will uh, inherit update view which comes along with django in generics okay from django dot views import sorry import generic okay after importing this we need to go to our class now here i will say generic dot update then this update view this update view says that this view can only used for updating which means put request right so here now i will define my class i will define my form so form underscore class here you need to remember one thing that if you are allocating form to class based view then you should give form class variable only other variable be other variable will not be counted right so i will just give edit user profile and i am going to allocate template so template underscore name now here where if you know that we are directly passing the uh, template name in render right here you need to pass direct uh, path we don't need to give render and request all that stuff so here it will be authors slash edit underscore user underscore profile right dot html now i will copy this you edit user profile dot html name and i will go to templates author and i will create one file here and i will just paste that name now here i will extend base dot html and i will create block which will be content and here i will just pass that form so form right now here we need to give success url okay after passing that form over here so i will say success underscore url which will take reverse lazy reverse lazy and i will say home okay great now here we will create method for the particular user only right so if we are logged in with admin then edit form should work only with admin i will show you so def get underscore object okay and then i will say self over here and i will return self dot request dot user now um this function means when i go to the edit function if i have provided username then username should be pre-filled in that uh, particular field for example if i'm going to contact us page right so i have authenticated with my admin then first name should be appear here rather than this empty field okay you will get to understand uh, once we are implementing that so uh, just we have created this is it for this uh, class now we will register this url in urls.py file so here i will do comma and i will say path i will say edit underscore profile slash and make slash over here also 
and success url also now i'll say views dot user wait a second what was the name of uh, update user sorry update user view so i'll go to url.py and just paste that view and if we are mapping our class based view to urls.py then we need to give one more argument which is s underscore view and don't forget to give this parenthesis okay comma name equals to edit underscore user okay now save this urls.py i will take this uh, i will just copy this name and i will go to uh, profile.html and here i will find edit profile button which is here and i will just pass this so url and i will paste that edit user come over here refresh i have made some mistake let me see okay we need to remove this comma from here okay we did that by mistake okay come over here refresh now click on edit profile you can see we have got this uh, uh, form now we will go to edit user underscore profile okay now we will wrap this form in uh, form tag so form post method i will remove this action and I'll pass CSRF token and I will pass form and I will create button for submit and I will say update and I'll pass username so it will be user dot username okay no username will not be fine so I'll just do update user okay great and here above this form i will give h2 tag and say you can update user save this come over here refresh okay we have got this button i need to provide class and i'll say b btn btn hyphen l g and b t n hyphen success save this refresh okay this is good now i will do br tag over here B -R. okay so button has come here so post method csrf token it should work fine so i was talking about pre-filled uh, field right so as you can see that our user has admin right so admin has already appeared over here if i will write first name so it will let like, keep it yosh and i will update the user okay it's required field so i will need to write patel also and email id also let's say john okay update user and if i go to admin then you can see user has been updated before we was having warnings right and if I go to edit profile login, then you can see all the fields are pre-filled because we already have that values in our database for that user. So yeah, this is it for today's video guys. I will see you in next one. And if you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.